what is going on guys welcome to your 23rd ruby tutorial and in this lesson i want to start talking to you guys about something called regular expressions now what regular expressions are are basically an awesome way that you can work with character patterns and text patterns in ruby and actually regular expressions isn't just part of ruby it's a different computer science topic altogether and a bunch of different programming languages use regular expressions and ruby is one of the best whenever working with these regular expressions so even though it isn't specific only to ruby it's important to learn it nonetheless so let me go ahead and show you guys an example before I jump right into learning what these regular expressions are and the different types of regular expressions I want to show you guys a simple example of when you would use it so let me go ahead and type let me just print something out on the screen puts something like fat Bucky not very nice but it'll be good for this example and I'm gonna use a sub method now this method again this isn't a regular expression but this is an example of when you could use a regular expression say you wanted to take the string fat Bucky and you wanted to change out the word fat for something a little bit nicer because you know I just think it would be a good idea so what we want to do is we want to give it two parameters first the string that we want to substitute which is fat and second the string that we want to substitute it for which is lucky so instead of fat bucky we want to change out the word fat for lucky hit enter and now says lucky bucky so another thing that i want to take note of is whenever you use this sub method what it does is it only replaces the first instance of the word fat so if you have fat bucky fat and you try to run this baby check it out it only replaces the first fat so lucky bucky fat but what if you want to replace all the fats not just the first one well in order to do that you need to use the g sub method why they named it g sub i'm not entirely sure but what this does is instead of just substituting the first fat it substitutes all the fats so go ahead and hit enter lucky bucky lucky there we go i am not fat I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this one but so anyways this is basically a simple substitution method and this is basically what regular expressions can do they can take part of your text and they can either swap it out for something else or they can just give it to you for later so even though we use the regular method in this example I'm going to show you guys how to do this with regular expressions so let's go ahead and use a regular expression now go ahead and make a simple string variable um actually it doesn't matter at all what you write but like yo what the heck do you want that's the first thing that came to my mind i have no idea why so basically we have a string variable and we stored it in the variable a and it says yo what the heck do you want so now what we want to do is say that we want to rip out the first two characters and replace it with something a little bit nicer so instead of saying yo that's kind of you know ghetto and inappropriate we might want to say excuse me sir so here's how we would do that using regular expressions so let me go ahead and write puts because we want to print something out on the screen a sub now instead of just substituting something for something else what we want to do is this we want to start off by passing in the first parameter which is a regular expression now remember in the sub method you, the first thing you write is what do you want to replace what thing do you want to get rid of well what we want to do is we want to get rid of the first two characters now in order to write this using regular expressions we do this in between two forward slashes we write I, I believe that's called the caret and the caret is the symbol above the six on your keyboard it looks like a little up arrow and two little dots now let me go ahead and finish this and then I'll explain it excuse me sir so basically what we did is instead of writing a string that we want to substitute substitute for example yo we gave it a regular expression instead now before I uh, you know keep talking let me go ahead and run this and make sure it works so now it says excuse me sir what the heck do you want which you know still isn't the nicest thing but it's a little bit better than yo what the heck do you want now let me talk to you guys about this regular expression a little bit regular expressions are basically using weird symbols to symbolize characters so basically what this regular expression does is it replaces the first two characters of a string 
So anytime you use regular expressions, and I'll be talking about it later on, and it's going to clear everything up, but anytime we're going to be working with regular expressions, you always put your special symbols in between forward slashes. So it always starts with a forward slash and ends with a forward slash. Anything in between is the stuff that we need to interpret. So let's go ahead and interpret this one real quick. The little carrot, I think it's called the carrot. If I'm wrong, then someone correct me in the comment section below. But the little symbol above the six on your keyboard is called an anchor in regular expressions. What this means is we basically want to match starting from the beginning of a string. So that's why it took the excuse me sir and it didn't replace it with a heck, it didn't replace it with a want. It started with the yo since yo was at the beginning of the string. Now these two little dots right here, dots basically symbolize any character. So whenever we use dot in regular expressions, it took the first two characters, no matter what they were, and it replaced it with excuse me sir. So basically, in plain, simple English, we're saying this. Okay, what we want to do is we want to rip out the first two characters, starting at the beginning of the string, and in their place, we want to stick in excuse me sir. And we did that, and our end was result, instead of yo, what the heck do you want? was excuse me sir what the heck do you want so I know at first glance regular expressions can seem very confusing and they are but in the next couple tutorials I'm gonna be showing you guys the different ways you can plug in regular expressions in rubies and also teaching you guys about a couple different symbols and when you guys are done watching like the next three or four tutorials you guys are gonna be pros on regular expressions but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video